Hey guys, uh, this is Darren Pitt here and I'd like to welcome you again to LinkedIn Mastery. Um, just before we get started with another quick tutorial, I do want to encourage you if you haven't done so already is to make sure uh, that we are connected uh, on uh, Facebook so that way you can definitely get constant updates uh, whenever a new training comes out or whenever we discover something that uh, can be pretty much helpful in you marketing yourself or your business via LinkedIn. Okay, so make sure hop on over to www.facebook.com forward slash Darren LinkedIn Mastery and like our page and uh, definitely get insights on all the phenomenal training and information uh, that is uh, posted here daily. Okay, um, and I uh, just wanted to bring to your attention, uh, I am going to be launching a LinkedIn course and I am giving a few people an opportunity to be able to get this course for free and I will be actually uh, taking them through and training them on how to develop their LinkedIn profiles and start generating leads um, and I'm actually giving away this course free to three persons that actually um, go through and fulfill the criteria of uh, getting the most amount of fans to recommend that they be given that opportunity to go through this course and be one of my beta testers, okay? Um, and if you haven't done so as yet, uh, make sure to hop on over to YouTube. A lot of my videos are on here. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, definitely um, make sure, you know, we post a lot of great information on here in terms of marketing and how to leverage uh, LinkedIn to grow your business. All right, so today what we're going to be covering is um, we're going to be looking at the search profile on LinkedIn, the search engine. Okay. Now, what, what you need to realize, and most people probably uh, don't, don't think about LinkedIn in this particular manner, but LinkedIn is a search engine. Okay. Uh, at its very core, LinkedIn is a search engine. Now, this particular search engine, uh, similar to Google, Yahoo, Bing, um, YouTube, LinkedIn is specifically catered towards the business and professional arena. All right. Now, with with that being in mind, with LinkedIn being a search engine, if you think about it, LinkedIn is a search engine. What you want to do, the goal of a search engine, and you as a marketer marketing yourself or your business, is that you want to be able to show up in the on the first page of LinkedIn. For your keywords, for the mark, the, the for the markets that you are targeting. Okay, I'll give you a quick example, and then we'll actually go through the different features of the search. So here it is. I'm in the online marketing, um, network marketing uh, niche in terms of what I do. Okay, so if I do a search, online marketing, and I hit enter. What you notice is I'm actually ranked on the first page on the individual for the term online marketing. Now, this is really powerful. Okay, and let me just adjust, make sure this is on all. all right. So I'm ranked on the first page for online marketing. Um, if we go, uh, let's see. Network, network mine. Let's see if I show up there. All right. So out of one million six hundred and forty-five thousand eight hundred and thirty-eight results, I'm ranked number one for the term network market. And then these are a couple of my friends here. Um, Leon Marziano. Uh, she, you can see, she's ranked number three. And uh, one of my business coaches, uh, April Marie Tucker, very prominent online marketer, uh, she is also ranked on the first page of Google. And then, uh, as you see, I see some of the marketers, uh, these, this is here, Lakeisha Simmons, this is one of the young ladies that I'm actually training. As you can see, she's also ranking on the first page of uh, LinkedIn. Okay. So now, why is this important? Well, here's the thing, guys. When, when people are looking for information, Maybe they're looking for companies or people that possess a particular skill in a field. What they're going to do is they're going to use that search bar. They're going to search for specific terms to find the people that 
that, that actually can help them would be a problem. Now, if your name is the first thing that's showing up when they see here, what do you think is going to happen? Well, the first thing is they're going to look, they're going to see a profile, and they're going to click through to go to your profile and review the information on your profile to see if you are the person that they're actually looking for. Now, that's, that's, that's really powerful because if your profile is set up properly, when they come to your profile and they see they're going to look at your skills and expertise, they're going to see the numerous endorsements of people that, um, that actually uh, say that you are good in what you're doing, they're going to see whatever information that, you're, that is being offered um, uh, by you or by your company. And so as a result, you start generating more traffic to your profile. And if it's set up properly, you'll start generating leads. And these leads can then turn into to customers and sales uh, for your business. Okay. Now, let's just look at the search, uh, the search category in more detail. Now, what LinkedIn does is that they actually have uh, different categories in which you can search. So if you're looking for people... Um, and, you, and let's say you're looking for a person uh, in a particular field, then you can change your filter to people. And that way, when you search, let's do online marketing again. So now, what, what this does is that it does not show any companies. The only thing it will show is people that actually has the terms uh, online marketing in their profile, right? And as you can see here again, uh, if they're just searching for people out of 2,989,502, again, I'm ranked number one for the term online marketing, okay? Now, let's say that they uh, were looking for a company that can assist them with online marketing. If we change that search and we go ahead here, now what this will do is only bring up companies that offer online marketing services okay same thing for groups let's say if you wanted to find groups uh, maybe maybe you have an interest in a particular topic or you want to be able to network with a particular niche you would enter your search term for the group that you're interested in uh, you would pick the groups category if you just want to find groups and when you hit search it will bring up all of the groups that has the term net uh, online marketing in their uh, in their heading, in their company profile and description, okay? So, as I said, the search feature is a very powerful, powerful feature. Um, maybe you're searching for jobs. Let's, let's see what they are in jobs, okay? And you do this term, online marketing for jobs. And here, you can see that this is the company that has a job um, that pretty much promotes uh, you being able to apply for jobs or whatever it is. If we click through, we could probably go and check out that company's profile, all right? Uh, and you look at the last one, so you could actually check for universities. And what's really powerful as well, guys, is that if you're, if you're actually messaging and talking with a lot of people on LinkedIn, um, you could actually just do search through your messages to see who you've spoken to about a particular topic. And as you begin to network a lot on LinkedIn, you know, you can accumulate quite a bit of messages. So when it comes to, uh, here, like this is one of, this is my search, as you can see, I have 278 results when it comes to online marketing. Because I've been speaking with a lot of persons in regards to uh, services that I can offer and how I can help them in regards uh, to online marketing. Okay. All right. So let's go back. Uh, let's go back to my profile. All right, and we're gonna explore search just a little bit more. Now, in the search box, LinkedIn gives you the opportunity to do an advanced search. Now, the advanced search is a very, very powerful feature, and I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I do in order to be able to um, really uh, filter down uh, my search criteria, all right? So, with advanced search, you can actually search by a first connection, second connection, you can search your groups as well. Now you can also take these out if you do not want to include these people in your search results. Maybe you just want to find people that are directly connected to you, okay? So in these options, you can choose if you want to search all profiles, right? The same thing here is the same that's up here in this drop-down box. 
but also you can also choose the relationship so if i let's say let's let's go back and let's say we want to take groups out i don't want groups in there and let's say i don't want uh, second connections either i only want people that's directly connected so if you notice your search results in terms of my connection right now i'm i have 1485 direct connections and so now my results will only show these people now if i go back and i add my second connections these are people connected to my first connections it jumps all the way up to 222,438. now this is really important because the more connections you personally have the more connections uh, you can communicate with okay i hope that makes sense all right so that's why you want to make sure that your you you are building up your personal connections because it allows you to have access to so many more people the great thing is as well in terms of location let's say that you live in a specific area let's say that you lived in miami fort lauderdale and you're looking for people in that area what that does now you can select by location and you have the option to add other locations okay now uh, let's add new york in here right, and as you see as you type you'll realize that uh various options come up so let's put it right oh all right greater new york city area and as well it's broken down into different um uh cities that goes in new york all right so if we add new york in there so now we've added new york to our search engine now, as again each one of these they show you based on your connections they show you how many people you can target in those areas which is very important the other thing we can do um let's uh, uncheck new york to keep it back to miami fort lauderdale the other thing is in here you can also search by companies now the companies that are listed here are companies that is within your connections again so it goes back down to you having a very strong uh connection okay in order to be able to um enhance your search you can pick by industry all right, so let's say we're looking for people in marketing and advertising. So now you notice our search results has been narrowed down. Um, we are looking for people in our first and second connection, people who are in marketing, and then you can actually choose by company if you if you know a specific company. Uh, you can also look at past companies. Maybe you wanted to one target people that worked in a particular field, um, and so you can go ahead and target persons that worked in that field. You could look for people who maybe went to a particular school if that's what you're looking for. Or maybe you're trying to network with people that at a university that you attended. This is a great way to be able to go through your connections and find people specifically from those uh, categories. Uh, the other thing, um, if you look at profile language, you could specify in terms of language. Maybe you want to... Maybe you have a very large network and um, you want to target English speaking people or Spanish speaking people for, for a particular product or service that you are offering. Now, if you, if you have upgraded your, your LinkedIn profile, now I have not upgraded um, at this point. Um, I have the, the techniques that I use. Uh, I do not really need to have a gold membership. Uh, maybe in the future, uh, when I see the benefits of having a gold membership, uh, I may upgrade. But at this point in time, based on the techniques that I use for my marketing, uh, it is not necessary. All right. So as you can see, you do have the option to choose um, people who are gold members and in different categories. But you can utilize these search settings in order to really refine your search. So as you can see, this is not available. Nothing in gold will be available unless you have upgraded. Okay. But as you can see, if you do find value in, in having an upgraded profile, you can actually uh, go through and get very, very precise in terms of finding what you're looking for in terms of your connections by getting very detailed. Okay. So again, um, I, I hope I hope this search uh, feature of LinkedIn makes a lot of sense to you. Uh, it is a very powerful feature. And uh, if you know how to use it properly, if you know how to manage that properly, you can actually uh, find exactly who you're looking for, target your customers, and then you can connect with people directly in whichever related area you're looking for them for. So again, this was just another great 
quick tutorial uh, on how to utilize the LinkedIn search feature um, in order to enhance your marketing efforts. Feel free, uh, click the link down below and uh, like this page if you're on Facebook or subscribe to this channel and uh, I'll be talking to you guys soon. Have a great day.